this Thailand video series is sponsored by Wandergo, an app for travellers and digital nomads. Sharing the best destinations, useful tips, average living costs, co-working spaces and more. Check it out. Good morning from the jungle. <laughs> we are in Krabi. Uh, this is our first day in Ao Nang. And yeah, we woke up in the jungle. This is what it looks like. It's so quiet too, apart from us. It's a lot of like rolling hills, a lot of green. Feels it does feel very jungly. We should probably move around though because the lighting's probably not so great. Um, so the today, jungle you're, lighting. the jungle lighting is <laughs> not so good for our skin. So we want to go and explore Ao Nang. So that um, because we're staying outside in this coconut tree area, we need to hire scooters. So hopefully we can get a nice pink Scoopy or something to like. <laughs> Don't knock Scoopies, I love Scoopies. <laughs> Scoopies are very good. We took a chance on Airbnb by picking this place outside of town a little bit. Yeah. The place that we did, it is a very nice spot. Yeah, so we, we did roll the dice. We promised that we would quickly show and we had a few messages on Instagram to see it, so. All right. Show us the studio. <sighs> studio tours are always short and sweet. <laughs> this <laughs> just is like, it. Just like you. <laughs> Basically, it's just one room with a huge bed. It's actually two little beds squished together. Good um, desk and working area, nice big TV as well. Mm. And then this um, also has like a little small little kitchenette, which is handy as well. Little fridge, microwave, kettle. You can see how much we settle in. Protein powder, <laughs> um, <laughs> Aeropress, coffee makers, HDMI cables, laptops and everything. We've only been here one day. <laughs> Luckily we can get them right from the reception here. So that's 250 baht, which in terms of day rates is probably getting up there, but that's what, as far as island life goes, I think that's probably fairly reasonable, don't you think? So here's a little tip that we do as well. We always wait until the afternoon and we try and rent, actually we said good morning, it's actually one o'clock, it feels morning for us. We always rent it around like one o'clock and then when you do a 24 hour rental, you have to return at one o'clock the next day. So that means you can do a full afternoon and evening of exploring get some sleep and then tomorrow morning you can wake up and fresh and go and do another you know another group of exploring and then return the scooter at one and you almost end up with like two days that's my little tip These helmets are not very flattering. It's so funny. It just sits crooked on my head as well. I look like an absolute idiot, but safety, safety first. I was about to say the same thing. Safety first. Look at this backdrop. It's pretty much one main street for the Ao Nang beach. So Stacey's is just quickly mapping. We haven't had any food yet, so we're going to try and go to some place to get some food. And then we're going to go down, walk along the beach and see what that main strip is sort of all about. But it, you can see it is very commercial here. It's definitely um, more developed than we anticipated. Loads of 7-Elevens, which is standard practice everywhere in Thailand, but there's McDonald's and uh, what's that, Coffee Club, Starbucks. Did you see Burger King as well? Yeah, so it's, it is very, very developed, but the beach looks nice. We've eaten our body weight in uh, Thai food recently, so we've come to this place, which is actually a hostel and a cafe, but you can see why they just do nice, uh, Western breakfast, just bacon and eggs and just something a little bit more simple for a, for a break of a meal. We're in a cool spot here, just along the main road, uh, sorry, up, up one of the side roads and then we've got that awesome view again. Stace has got a very normal chair, I'll show, show you mine in a second, my chair is very weird eh? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, this, is the, this is the cafe. Lucky I'm such a nice fiance and I gave Danger this, this beach chair. <laughs> Up the cup. So it was 450 baht for two iced coffees and a couple of some food, which I think is a pretty standard price for around Ao Nang. Um, and it was nice. 
but now we're just going to go back down to the main beach and walk around and explore a little bit more. So park down at one end of the one end of the beach, well the main street I suppose. So there's beach on this side. One thing that I'm surprised by was well, shops on the other side. As I'm about to finish that statement. <laughs> One thing I'm surprised by there's nothing on the beach side. Like no restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that is quite surprising. Like we have been like hustled a few times already. It's definitely <laughs> one of those places. It's like diving, boat, relay. Yeah, island hopping. Yeah, yeah, snorkeling, diving, chicken island is like everything you just get thrown at. So we are going to go to relay. We need to figure that out how to get there. No one really swimming here. It's just like a walking, yeah. a walking sort of strip. But we'll check it out anyway. Go for a little walk, see what the shops and everything are like. island hopping tour from here I think from what we've read it's like a four island tour but it seems like they just kind of like cram a million people onto a long tail boat and then everyone goes to the same places yeah so I don't know whether that's our vibe we're not sure we're gonna see how our days play out this is not the most beautiful spot that we're gonna go to it's like sardines on a tiny boat yeah. just being plowed out to the island so we're not sure I think we're more about that drive around, find a beautiful beach, hang out, have a beer, yeah. the island vibe rather than the crowded island hopping. Agreed. <laughs> so just walking along there, we just come up onto the main street and we've seen a sign here for the long tail boat services. Turn. So 200 return, because it was supposed to be 100 per person from what we've been told to get to Rayleigh. So 200 per person gives you the boat over and then back. And I think we have to go to the, there's a tourist information long boat ticket place here. If you don't know what Rayleigh is, it's a uh, Rayleigh? Ra Rayleigh? We don't really know the right way to say that. We'll learn that before we go. Wow, really? Wow, it's, really? it's some people's favourite place in Thailand. Here's a question. Yeah. Do we go to Tom's, Tom's Eye or West Rayleigh? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a question we will answer on the day when we go. <laughs> we'll need to figure that out. Um, so Rayleigh, Rayleigh, whatever you want to say, is some people's favourite place. I feel place. like Rayleigh is not the right one to say. If we were Australian, we'd say, bye, go to Rayleigh. <laughs> Yeah, so Raleigh Bay is just around, but you can't get to it by via land. Apologies to every single Australian. Spend the day and then you get your return ticket. <laughs> oh god. Story time. You can't walk this main strip without seeing this insanely big statue. So this thing costs five million baht, and apparently it be they believe that it shows everyone how important the environment is to Krabi, which is a nice touch. Thailand's actually been really good recently at closing down areas that are becoming like over, over popular, over commercialized because of the marine life, and then restarting and rebuilding everything, which is a nice touch for sure. Um, apparently it commemorates an incident 10 years ago, or a situation, 10 years ago where some local fishermen caught an enormous number of these things. I doubt it was enormous as in this size, but just lots of them apparently. This is pretty much what you get along the strip. All your typical knickknacks and stuff. I always use that word. A 7-Eleven as you per. Tourist information so you can book almost any trip. You've got the bags, the sunglasses, the, um, the jandals, the always a restaurant, always a bar. Always a currency exchange. Oh, there's Burger King down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and always tuk-tuks. So all of our needs are met along this one strip. So I was just talking to Danger about what we thought of Ao Nang. And I feel like it's a good jump off spot for like going to the islands and stuff. Like we didn't come here expecting crystal clear water, but I think I did expect like, um, beach shacks and places to be able to just grab a beer on the beach and more chill vibes but it's quite developed not saying that's a bad thing it's just um, a little bit different from what I was expecting but now now we're heading to <laughs> oh my god oh, there's a wasp on you now we're heading to another beach just slightly up the coast from here driven 
to the end of the other beach. This one's definitely a lot nicer in terms of um, a lot more local, a lot less commercialized. It seems like the locals just come and they hang out. There's only one lady there, it's not a great example. Down here, everybody comes and there's all the locals like under the trees, having their lunch, having some food, a lot less people walking around. Some cool little islands out there. You can walk around. But look how much more chill this one is. And there's a couple of restaurants down the other end as well where it looks like it actually sits over the, um, over the water. Just enjoying our first Thai island sunset. Sort of hidden a little bit behind the clouds, but it's still really nice. Got a cute little set up here. Here's a tree I prepared earlier. <laughs> this is all we need beer, chips, sunset. It was all quiet and peaceful, and now. I think we're under attack. It's like all of these insects, it's got to be insects, not birds. Yeah, that's insects. All these insects just started communicating with each other. I think they're ready to battle. <laughs> <laughs> 